I'm Delaney and this is Bubby. Like most kids, I had a favorite stuffed animal growing up. One I couldn't sleep without or leave at home while running errands with my mom. I found Bubby when I was about one. I went into my sister's room after she had put another stuffed bunny in my crib and I turned that one down. I did not like that one. And so I went into her room and I snatched Bubby off the shelf and wouldn't let her take it back. So I think my sister having Bubby at first made a big difference because it wasn't, she wasn't just mine and she actually had a story before I came along and took her from her. And I am very happy that she was my sister's because without my, her being my sister's, I don't think I would have had her sitting next to me. When I was three years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia, a blood cancer that affected 4,970 kids just last year. On that day, Bubby went from my best friend to my sidekick, caregiver, and safety blanket forever. Every surgery I got, Bubby also got, like when I got my eye surgery and she got a eye patch just like me. Every time I was in the hospital, Bubby was right next to me. We were inseparable, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to sleep with her even when I'm 80. So, sorry to my future husband. The very first thing that we packed when we were packing her bag to go to the hospital was Bubby. We made sure Bubby was with her at all times. And from that point on, the love that Delaney had for Bubby grew and grew and grew. And the more procedures she had, and the more surgeries, and oh gosh, needles and all kinds of treatments, the more things that happened to her, the more she relied on Bubby. And Bubby was able to be there with her when mommy and daddy were not. When there were procedures happening, Bubby could stay in the room with her. The nurses would bring her out to us, we'd hold on to Bubby till the procedure was over. And then we made sure Bubby was right by her side when she woke up from all of her procedures and surgeries. Uh, Bubby had her own name tags, all the doctors and nurses knew Bubby, and they came to love Bubby too. Everyone kind of relied on Bubby. Oh, here she is now, Bubby. Bubby's right here because she's homesick and I can't have her, but she's not. But today, today is the day. The day that's the awesome day. Yeah. I know, right? So, here we go. Here we go. Bobby, you roll this up. Daddy, right? Hey. Isn't my family great? <laughs> Two sisters and a mom and a bunny and a daddy who's awesome. This little bunny right here has a personality all her own. because of her little words and her little voice and her little actions that we all smiled and laughed even during the hardest of times. I still have to have her every night when I go to sleep and every morning when I wake up. Bubby was there when I learned to ride a bike at my first dance recital and even traveled to Maine and Idaho with us. She's a part of the family. I'm pretty sure she's been a, in a few Christmas cards, so it's official at this point. I honestly don't know what I would do without Bubby. I love her so much. 